I have been treating and working with this yellow tang for about two and a half months now. We put Alea through Praziquantel, through Copper, through Batril, through so many different types of water changes. She's had ick, she's had flukes. It took months before she actually was able to make a good poop. Medication wasn't working, antibiotics wasn't working, redness continued. She was still eating fine, but she wasn't, there was still something wrong with her digestion and her poops were in solid. So I changed it up. The prescription with Batril was to dose her every other day, and with that I was also doing water changes every other day to support her in the quarantine tank. I realized that that was very invasive. I was essentially putting her through a lot of stress almost every day. So deciding that I wasn't going to do medication anymore and try and focus more on water quality, I got rid of the PVC, I put in rocks, I started adjusting the water changes, and after about four or five days this started to work. There have been some amazing improvements and I'm very excited to show you guys where we're at. We're going to take a look at the temporary tank that I've put both Rupert and Alea in. We're going to see how they've been doing. If you know anything about introducing tangs into tanks, they are kind of the top of the food chain usually. They are very aggressive, they set their territory and they will defend it with their lives, with their little tangs or their um, little surgeon. Uh, scalpels by their tail. If I were to just take a Leia and put her into my main display with an established powder blue tang, there would more likely be some serious aggression issues. And the fish that I just spent two and a half months quarantining and treating and getting to be healthy could be at risk again. So again, I'm gonna have to make some adjustments and some changes to figure out how we can get them into the tank. What I actually had done is a week ago, I removed Rupert, my powder blue tang, from my display tank and I put him and Alea, the yellow tang, in a temporary tank so that neither of them had established territory and they had a tank where they would be forced to interact and get along and I could watch them and manage aggression. I spent a lot of time setting up this tank properly. It was a temporary tank so I needed to make sure that there was enough filtration, I needed to make sure that there was enough hiding spots, there was rocks, it was something where they would feel comfortable but you know they wouldn't have their territory already established. What I did was I went to Home Depot, I bought a plastic container, um, I think it ended up being about 30 or 40 gallons, and I put it all together, I made sure to clean out the container with vinegar and then with salt water, I kind of went a little neurotic with this, but I figured it would be better to be safe than sorry. Not only are we dealing with you know my beloved powder blue tang Rupert, but as well, Alea, who not only did I spend countless amount of time trying to treat her and bring her back to full health, but also with the recent ban on the export of wild yellow tangs from Hawaii, the stakes are a lot higher. So these two fish have been acclimating for about 40, 45 minutes now. So now we're actually gonna move them in one by one. So when we put Alea and Rupert into the new temporary tank, of course they were both pretty frightened. They didn't really know what was going on. Immediately when they met each other, they kind of were like, who is this? Uh, following each other. They wanted to establish territory very quickly. There were definitely a few skirmishes, they fought, but there wasn't any serious damage. Of course, there was a little bit of tears to fins here and there, especially on the first night. But it always amazes me how quick a healthy fish will heal and they've now been in there for a week. There's still a little bit of fighting here and there but it's not as aggressive anymore. It's kind of more of like a warning or a get out of my territory but when they do actually get close to each other I'm not seeing too many scratches or so much contact. So I'm actually very excited today to be able to put them into the main tank. So since both the tangs have been in their temporary tank and there is no tang in my main display, let's go take a look at how the dynamics have changed amongst the fish since Rupert the powder blue tang is no longer there. So this tank is stocked with my two clown fish, a one spotted fox face rabbit fish, three pajama cardinal fish, two peppermint shrimp, and of course my green spotted puffer charlie. Since Rupert the powder blue tang is no longer in this tank and there is no overlord, the clownfish have definitely come out a lot more. They aren't fully hosted in their anemone yet, however I've noticed that they're exploring the tank way more than they used to. The cardinal fish are kind of going all over the place. Charlie, my puffer, he spends most of his time over here and he kind of does whatever he wants. 
The one fish though who I have to say I think really misses having another roommate is Jimmy, our one spotted fox face. I can't help but feel like this fish is a little bit depressed without his buddy in there. So I'm very excited to be able to put both fish in here today um, and see how things change and how everybody gets along. So without ado, I think at this point, let's go get the fish ready to go to the tank. So they've been acclimating for about 45 minutes now, slow dripping them from the sump into the bucket. Now we're pretty much just gonna reach in there and get them in the tank and see how it goes. We're gonna start with Alea, the yellow tank first, and then we'll do Rupert the powder blue. That was a little bit stressful, but I'm super happy that I finally have everybody in the tank. There is some immediate aggression between Jimmy the one spotted fox face and Alea. You can see a little bit of it there. Jimmy managed to nip her a little bit on her anal fin, shocked her a little bit. She kind of was like hanging out in the corner for a minute or so, but she is now swimming around and exploring and getting to know the rest of the tank. Rupert's kind of just like back to business. Uh, it took him a minute to just be like, what's going on? And then he kind of was, you know, back at his old shenanigans. Happy to have everybody back in the tank. I'll continue to keep you guys updated with how Alea, our yellow tank, is doing, and Rupert, our powder blue, and everybody else that's in the tank. If you guys have watched the series up until now, thank you guys so much for checking in. If you haven't, definitely go back, check the other videos from this series, and you might be able to learn a little bit about the process I learned to quarantine my fish and make sure that they are healthy and capable of going into a community tank successfully. Thank you guys so much for watching, and always remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.